Hey peeps, Coach Donna here, coming to talk to you today about, I'm going to turn my phone off, or at least put it on vibrate so it won't make a noise while I'm talking to you, coming to talk to you today about um, something that I was reminded of yesterday. Um, I had an appointment with my kinesiologist yesterday, and we talked about a whole bunch of stuff, because he's really cool, so we talk about a whole bunch of stuff, right? Uh, but one of the things that we discussed was... Um, that he's running into, and I guess this is the same in every service business, but you run into people who want the information about how to change their lives. And for him, it's, his, it's your health. How do I change my health to make it better? And then you get, and then you tell them what they need, and then they go, does it take all of that? <laughs> um, and so, as telling him, that, you know, I've been there. You know, I have people that have come to me and have, we've, I've talked about the plans and the things that we could do and given them some, some life structure options um, for getting their lives, you know, better because they, they say they want change. They want things to be different than the way that they are in their lives and they just, you know, they're just ready for a change. <laughs> and so, you know, I talked to them about, being ready for the change and we go through a you know a quick assessment and then I give them you know okay so this is what you need to do in order to have what you need to have this this and this is the treatment plan you know this is this is the way that I would suggest that we go about it if you'd like to work with me it's just that and we go through the whole thing and of course they go does it really take all that I guess that's the same thing as um, a health, uh, like a bodybuilding person who does uh, workouts and whatnot and makes workout plans. Um, I'm sure that they run into people that are like, do I have to work out that hard? For real? I mean, does it really take all that? Right? So here's what I've learned about all of that. The question that... I, when I was going through it, because I was going through this whole thing that um, when I was, I think it was my second, maybe almost my third year in California, and things were just not the way that I thought they would be. And three years in, I thought I would be in a completely different place than I am, than I was. And so I was, like, complaining to God, you know, threatening to go back home. You know, oh, I don't, I don't need this. I go home. I get this, I get that, I get the other. <laughs> I don't have to do this. Forget this, you know, like... You know, forget it, God. I don't have to do this. Just forget it. You know, like throwing stuff or whatever. Like, I, I don't need to do this. Forget that. You know, I could go home. <laughs> so, really poignant question came back to me. Really clear. Really precise. The question that I had to answer for myself. How bad do you want it? You said yes. You expressed to me that you wanted so-and-so. Here it is. It's here. It's waiting for you. doesn't happen like that. But it's going to happen for you. If you stick to it. If you commit to the process of getting there. But the real thing is, not about you saying, yes, you want it. The question is, are you willing to commit to have it? And how bad do you want it? Because that determines your level of commitment. Right? So here's where, here's where the rubber meets the road. There are many times in our lives when we have said, I want this, I want that, I don't want this, I don't want that, I want to lose 10 pounds, I want 20 pounds, I don't like the fat, I want to lose some weight, I'm not healthy, I want to find out how to get healthy, I, I wish that this ache would go away, I wish that that pain would go away, I wish that my life were this, that, or the other, right? The question that is always before us in every situation is how bad do you want? How bad do you want to not be on the doctor's pills? Are you willing to do what it takes? Are you willing to change your diet? Like for real, change your diet. Not play around with changing your diet, but are you willing to change your diet to take your blood pressure down 40 points? Are you willing to get your behind up off the couch 
and get in the floor and work out or take a walk for goodness sake are you willing to do commit 30 minutes to the betterment of your health are you willing how bad do you want the life change and realize that every part of this is all a process so you have the part where you stand right now and then you have the future yourself down there, way down there, right? And you can see yourself. You can see all the things that make you this great, big, beautiful you. But you're standing here with crap all around you. Looking like pig pen from peanuts, right? Because we all have had moments in our lives when just stuff was everywhere. Here's what the question is. Are you willing to clean it all up? Are you willing to allow all of this stuff to be cleaned up? We say we want to be rich, right? How many people say out there they want to be rich? I want to be rich. Here's the reality of being rich. It takes you understanding the process and the, and the uh, respect for the energy and the resource that we call money. What does that mean? That means that are you willing to write down what happens to every single dollar you get for 30 days so that you'll understand your spending habits and then redo it again 30 more days so you can see the changes that have occurred, if any, and if they haven't, keep doing it and keep doing it until it becomes habit for you to absolutely know without a shadow of a doubt where every dollar that comes in your hand goes to. Are you willing to create a plan for every dollar? Are you willing to create a team of people that know more than you about money so that they can help you? And are you willing to expose your crap to them about money, what you don't know and what you do know, instead of looking like you have it all together? How bad do you want to keep the money that you have coming in? How bad do you want it? How bad... Do you want to change your life? Are you willing to let go of the things that cause you to stand in the spot that you hate and be miserable? Nobody likes misery. Nobody wants to be in misery. But once misery becomes comfortable, are you willing to be uncomfortable in order to get free of the misery? Are you willing to let the process of life change you and drop your ego so that you can learn some new stuff so that when you get down there, the stuff that you hide and pack away that you think won't be a, a, a problem, oh, I'm going to keep this. Ah, I hold on. I'm going to hold on to this. This is no problem. I'll hold that. And this will be the very thing that causes your sabotage later on, causes you to self-sabotage later on. Because you weren't willing to let it go. How bad do you want the life that you have coming to you? How bad do you want the promise of good health? Are you willing to open your mind, open your mouth, open your history, and open your wallet to receive what you have to receive? Are you willing to find the money or the resources that get you everything you need in order to be healthy? Are you willing to create a wellness team of different doctors that are from different genres so that they can kind of give you what they know? So that they can help you along in your journey? And are you willing to change the food that goes in your mouth? Good example. I'm a vegan now. So people that see me that are like, you don't eat meat? Nope, I don't eat meat. Okay, what about fish? Nope, I don't eat fish. What, well, what about chicken? What about shrimp? You eat shrimp? Oh, everybody eats shrimp. <laughs> oh, oh, I got it, I got it. Like, like what, about, what about tilapia? Yeah, no, I'm a vegan. So vegans don't eat anything with parents. Wait a minute, not even chicken? No, you don't. 
Okay, that's cool. Vegetarianism is cool. I didn't say I was a vegetarian. I don't eat dairy either. Wait a minute, you don't eat cheese? No. Well, what about milk? No. And then they, oh, I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't do that. Well, you know, then I tell them the story of the reason why I chose to go one step and then go next step and then go to the next step. I knew veganism was going to happen for me eventually, but I didn't understand that the catalyst for me flipping it over was that I was actually going to save my own life by doing that. Not dramatic, not dramatic. Really and truly becoming a vegan and then going organic. Isn't that expensive? Absolutely. But it's more expensive today. It's less expensive today, I should say, than it will be for the doctor's bills and all of the pills that ensue from the life of not taking care of your body. You work out? Yep. Not as much as I'd like to, but I sure do. Not as much as I need to. I need to step it up, but I sure do. That's hard. Yoga, oh, I can't do it. I can't, I can't. How bad do you want the life that you say that you want? How bad do you want it? I wanted it bad enough. I wanted to not be on doctor's medications because they didn't have solutions for me coming off of that high blood pressure medicine. I wanted to get off of the idea of being it so bad that I gave up the last bit of meat and my blood pressure and then went organic and my blood pressure dropped 40 points in two months. Yes, that's how bad I wanted it. And I want it bad enough I want perfect health bad enough to do whatever I need to do to eat what I need to do, eat or not eat what I need to eat to be able to be there. So, how bad do you want the life that is promised to you? How bad do you want everything that's in your head that can be you? Are you willing to do what it takes to get it? Are you willing to drop your own ego and knowing everything that there is to know about life and be taught? Are you willing to expand beyond your right now and what you know and what you think you know? Because I've been taught very well that you don't know what you don't know, so you don't even know to ask what you don't know because you don't know. So are you willing to ask the person who knows more than you? Am I asking you all the questions? Because I don't know what to ask you. Because I don't know. Am I asking you all I need to ask? Because maybe you're telling me, maybe there's something that I don't know to ask you. Are you willing to let your ego, uh, drop the ego so you can ask that question? Long story shortened up. Life in 4G is about living life full and leaving empty. That's the whole point of all that we're doing. Without it, we are nothing. The Bible says very clearly, choose today what you'll serve. And the reason why it says choose today what you'll serve is because whatever you serve now, you sow into and it comes back to you later. So if you serve the things that are good for you, the things that are good to you, the things that are going to build you up physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, then later on, those things will serve you. If you serve the things that will not do that for you, right? If you serve the things that are temporary, the things that provide temporary thrill, temporary relief, temporary pleasure, temporary feel goods, but they add pounds, they add misery, they add depression, they add those things that don't serve you later, then you need to consider the choices that you're making every day. It doesn't say choose today and you're done choosing. It says choose today. And today is every day that we wake up. What you'll serve. So, make the choices, peeps. Ask the question to yourself, how bad do you want it? Life in 4G is living in God, living a life of giving, living a life of gratitude, and living unapologetically in your greatness. Choose today what you'll serve, because whatever you serve now serves you later. How bad 
Do you want it?